Okay, this is subtracting fractions, where we're going to take two fractions and one away from the other. So, the question I'm going to ask is, forfeits, in other words, something like that, take away two-fifths. In other words, something like uh, that. Okay. Now, because the denominators are exactly the same, all we need to do is say, well, if I take two-fifths away from those four, there they are, I'm left with two-fifths. Or, four take away two equals two, and the denominators remain the same, two-fifths. Okay, so that's one way of doing it, where both the denominators are exactly the same. Okay, let's say that the denominators are not the same. Well, we can apply the same principles that we learned in adding fractions. So, the question is going to be, 1 6 take away 1 24th. Okay, what number will make that 6 into a 24? It's going to be 4. So, I need to change the top and the bottom again to make sure that both numbers the denominators are exactly the same. So, 1 times 4 is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Take away 1 24th, and the answer is 3 24ths. Now, there's something that we can do also is that we can reduce that down to the lowest possible number at the bottom by dividing both top and bottom by 3. So if we divide 3 by 3, we get 1. If we divide 24 by 3, we get 8. So the answer to 1 6 take away 1 24th is 3 24th, or really we should make it as small as possible, which is 1 8th. That's how we can take two fractions away again from each other. Okay, I just want to slightly add one last little bit at the end. Let's say we change the question to one whole one take away two fifths. Well, if you've got one whole one, there it is, and you divide it into five bits, one, two, three, four, five, how many bits have you got? You've got five. So really... If you wanted to, rather than writing one whole one, you could actually write five fifths. And then you could say five fifths take away two fifths equals three fifths. So when you see a whole number like that, it doesn't really matter. You can just make it into the same denominator by putting the same numerator or the top number on top of it. And that's how to take away fractions.